Well, let me ask you about Ink Exit. You know, I've, oh, been, sure. I've been in this industry for quite a while. I've taught a lot of spotting classes. I've taken a lot of spots out of carpets. And ink was always one of those things where do not get it into the carpet or the backing's gonna delaminate. And then you come out with Ink Exit where you can literally squirt it right on the ink spot, rub it in and extract it out. Can you tell me a little bit about the technology involved there? The biggest problem people have with uh, developing products is that they tend to confuse the cause of a problem with the problem itself. Give an example uh, with ink. Everybody knows how to remove ink. One way, it's easy, just put a solvent to that, right? You will dissolve it. The problem is, what do you do with it after you removed it. If you use a regular uh, uh, solvents that are designed to dissolve the ink, most of those are now water soluble. So as soon as you add water to it, all the pigments get stuck to the fibers, it become more difficult to remove, you gotta let it dry, do all those things. So we've developed technology that we are targeting the pigments, we're surrounding the pigment, and we're bringing it out and allowing it to be removed with water alone. What it's doing is, is preventing the ink from reattaching itself to the fibers. As long as the product is there at the balance that it is, you can just rinse it out. If you didn't remove everything, you add more. It doesn't matter if it's wet. You just add more. And you do it until you remove. And what's interesting with this, this product is that it doesn't harm any surface. We tried on waxed floors, for example, with magic markers. Mm -hmm. And we can remove without removing it wax, uh, plexiglass, smart boards. We have not found a surface that the ink exit is going to harm.